Welcome back on this wonderful rainy night. It's time to finally do Operation Afterglow. Now, I'm just assuming we've gotten the transmission by now, considering, you know, we spent an entire episode running around doing random stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and head over to Dead City and then we'll see. Wow, it is like really foggy when it's raining like this. Holy crap. Oh, wait, what? What in the world? Uh, that's an interesting glitch. Let's see if re-equipping that, does that work? Does that, no, that is so weird. I have no idea. Probably the most interesting glitch I've ever come across. What if I look through here? No, it's only uh, those other scopes, huh? What a nice rainy night running all the way over here. And while we're out front here, I might as well see if they have any quests. Sure, I'll give you guys lurker eyes later. And actually, I don't even know if I have any lurker eyes now that I think about it, because this entire playthrough, we've barely run into them. It's mainly been chimera after chimera after chimera. All right, let's see if moving between zones has fixed that issue. No, look. That is so weird. Here, let me try, let me try vid underscore restart. Let's see if that fixes it. Nope, that, that literally, oh, I think that's what's causing it though. Hey, Dutchman, what's up? First of all, job is done, contract killer, but oh, see, I've received the message about the mysterious transmission. That's right, there we go. Encrypted transmission. Now, if I remember correctly, we gotta go all the way up to Zatan. Yep, right there, to the Zatan. Nope, it's still messed up. Wow, reloading did not fix that. All right, let's see, we restarted the game completely. Is it fixed? Oh, it's fixed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, while our PDA is magically getting rained on, despite the fact that we're inside the building, I guess let's uh, accept some random quests, like the Lamont's quest. That's fine by me. Man, they want so many duty faction patches, and that's like the one thing I don't have any of. I've already turned all of mine in, and I don't typically kill duty that often. Either way, we do actually have two yellow stashes. We have one over here in Red Forest, and then one in Jupiter, right where uh, we need to go kill Monolith. So this should be pretty good. We've got a lot of stuff to do while making our way up there. All right, who exactly do I need to give expert tools to now that I have a bonus one. I don't remember, so I guess we're just gonna have to figure out as we make our way up north. Oh my god, I'm like so out of ammo. I just realized that right now. I barely have any ammo on me. That's not good. Who would have thought that this deep in the playthrough we'd be having extreme ammo issues? Ooh, he wants four radiation patches. I'll give that to you, buddy. Aw, oh, crap. I accidentally lit the fire. Well, you're welcome, brother. Anyways, thank you for the... Uh... Wow, he gave me a radar stash. That is literally the first radar stash. I think we've got... Oh, never mind. I'm just talking out of my ass. Oh my god, I just realized this guy has like a ton of stuff on him that I forgot to take off of him. Oopsie daisies. Well, while I was planning on going all the way up to Red Forest right now, I guess we're not going to do that since I have a ton of stuff to drop off. How much ammo do I have of this? Oh, okay. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I actually have a lot of ammo in my PKP, so that's not too bad. All right, quick little drop off. Time to get rid of some stuff that he's got on him. All right, real quick, where can you take me again? He can take me straight to Yanov. Do I want to do that and then come back? You know what? That's a better idea. I'm going to go to Yanov. All right, this makes a lot more sense because we can go from here to here and just kill the monolith or send that are here, kill him here, and then leave rather than having to go all the way through this and potentially fight mutants. But first, while we're here, I think I might go over here and clear out the monolith incursion. That should be fun. I do apparently have a quest to turn in though. Whoa. Oh yeah, the drug runner. I forgot about that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, buddy. I need more Hydroshock. Thank you. All right. For once, I'm actually going to try to use night vision. I know I don't do it ever, but I'm going to try it this time. As I said, at least in Gamma, the issue with night vision is just most of the time I can see better with just a flashlight than I can with night vision. Why do all the trees have like a ghostly silhouette around them? Do you see that? They all have that like weird silhouette going around them. I always knew Jupiter had ghost trees. I mean, I will admit night vision is nice because like in some ways, because you can see a ton of stuff that's like a lot further away that you couldn't normally see with like a flashlight, but uh, I don't know. All right, all right, we're coming around this corner here and we see our boy and I missed and I hit. There he is, he's just sitting. Oh. He has no idea where he's getting shot from. Like actually no clue, he's so confused right now. How many shots? Okay, look, I know I'm not using AP. I get it, but like, holy crap, that's a lot of bullets. Maybe I should be using AP. Yeah, I'm gonna swap over real quick. Now, the issue with this place is there's a lot of guys inside of there, and normally I wait for them to come out, but I, I don't think they're gonna come out because they don't know where I am. Yeah, they have like no clue where I am, so I guess I'm just gonna have to barge in real quick, so that's what we're gonna do. And you see what I mean? Everything is so bright, like, it doesn't really need night vision. You know, it'd be really funny to add like a stealth meter like Fallout 4 to show whether you're in stealth or not. Oh yes, that probably wasn't very loud, me dropping that on the floor. Don't worry, they didn't hear it. They couldn't have. Oh wow, they... Oh, it's Sin. I was, I was wondering why he didn't die so quickly. But that's kind of funny that they really didn't hear me. But now they definitely did. Hello? 
Hello? Delivery? Pizza? He he hello? H hello? Where, where are they? Guys? Wait, where are they? Seriously. Oh! Bro, he scared the living crap out of me. Oh my god. I was not expecting a dude to just stand right there. Alright, but it looks like we do have a stash. I think that's on top. Yeah, I don't think that's down here, but I'll check real quick. Oh, wait. No, it might be down here. Wait. No, it's definitely down here. Yeah, so never mind. It is down here. Will it be expert tools? Please. Ah, uh, that's all right. I already have a spaz. I already have a Taz. Oh, oh, wait. I do need the Taz 194, I think, for hip, right? I don't think I gave it to her. All right, well, unfortunately, we didn't get a yellow, but hey, we always have that other yellow, but I think I'd rather get that on the way back. So let's go ahead and head up to do the Operation Afterglow quest line. All right, no one up there today? No? Everything look cool? Then what is the quest I have here? Is it mutants or no, contract killing? Uh, I just saw something explode. I saw like bloody remains. What is going on? Oh, oh, they're shooting at me, hello? Bro, I could, like, barely see him. He's fighting a bloodsucker. Okay, so he has time to shoot at me when there's a bloodsucker in his face? Are you serious? He's seriously shooting at me while there's bloodsuckers fighting him. Come on. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to kill the freaking bloodsuckers for you. This is, this is messed up. These duty, duty soldiers. Oh, uh, oops. I didn't mean to fall down here. Bro, he's getting messed up. That's right, bloodsucker, get him. Dude, they are so messed up right now. I'm trying to help them with this bloodsucker thing and they're over here like shooting at me. Look, this guy is literally in the same building as me. Look at him. Sorry. Oh, apparently he was the only one that I need to kill. Uh, well, in that case, I think I'll be going now. Thank you for your patronage. Apparently, I accepted that subcontractor from him because look, yep, job is done MRE and an IED. Cool. <laughs> He's still throwing grenades at me, bro. I'm like long gone. I killed your friend and then I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't think I ever gave these guys over here in Zatan expert tools. So maybe I can give him some expert. All right, the weird thing is that his tool bench is like up here, just sitting here, but like he's not. I don't even know where he is. Yeah, wait, wh where even is he? Hold on. Here, let me give you expert tools. Now let's see where, where he's all the way downstairs, all the way down here, bro. Are you kidding me? Why are you roaming around when your tool bench is upstairs? All right, here you go. Job is done. Nice. 13150. Nice. Now, my arm is quite damaged, but I think we're just going to ignore that <laughs> and just continue on. You know, I don't want to pop an ibuprofen just for that. Plus, I only have three doses left, so yeah, definitely going to keep it. All right, real quick, since we're going to come over here in a second. No, it doesn't look like there's anything there right now. All right, now, every time I've come up here for this quest in order to decode the radio, there's never been anyone here. So let's hope that I didn't jinx myself and there's going to be a ton of people here. Uh, why do I jinx myself? There is a pyro guys, and then there is, uh, of course, of course, there's more sin. My, my, my arm is actually messing up my, uh, shots so much. My dude's, like, shaking like crazy. Where is he? Where, wait, where was I getting shot from? Where, wait, where, oh, there he is. Got him, got him. Oh, is he hiding behind there? Yeah, he must be. My companion's shooting right there. I'm just gonna push him because, oh, there he is. Got him. That should be it. I really hate Poltergeist and Pyro guys. Like their hitboxes are just so annoying. Also, how come he's throwing stuff at me? I thought if you walked, he's not supposed to do anything. There we go, Jesus. All right, time to loot these guys real quick. Oh, wow, he had a Phantom Star on him. A hunt uh, that's so nice, dude. I've been looking for another Phantom Star. I thought I'd never find another one. Whoa, he gave me an Atom. What in the world? I have not seen an Atom in I don't know how long. All right, well, by the way, if you're doing Operation Afterglow and you're doing this quest and you're like, wait a second, I'm at the marker and it's not doing anything. Well, you gotta run over here. Once you get over this way, specifically towards the helicopter, normally, yep, there we go, decrypting transmission. 
and there we go so now we just got to go right down the hill I, I was thinking if i got another phantom star you know how at the end of uh, operation afterglow uh there's the military right especially if you're siding with strelok and you're gonna fight the military i could just run in with a phantom star and place uh <laughs> place explosives at their feet that's what i was gonna do i was like yeah i can plant some explosives at their feet hello funny military man hello. who are yeah, you all right colonel let's go now we got a full party and wow that's kind of funny though that the military are here and there's a military suit and a stash right next to them i've been like reading what people have said been saying about like the uh, xbox games showcase right like a lot uh, a, a good amount of people got to try out the like stalker 2 demo that apparently like a lot of people played the first like 40 minutes of the game or whatever right and everything i've seen about it has been overwhelmingly positive and dude that scares me i really don't want to get my hopes up i re i really i really don't want to get my hopes up but they're 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 pulling me dude they're pulling me they're making me wish i had enough money to buy the collector's edition you know maybe if i didn't have to spend so much fucking money on medicine and doctor visits every month i'd be able to afford it all right there's gonna be quite a lot of people to fight up here so i'm just gonna go ahead and pop one of these just to be safe yeah them finally bringing it to uh consoles that was really nice because i was gonna say you know like the fact that soccer 2 is gonna be on um game pass I, I found it kind of funny because I was like, yeah, dude, most people who own an Xbox have never played Stalker and they're not going to know what the fuck this game is or anything about it. But hey, now they will. Oh, my God. What is going on? I just heard the grenade. Uh, normally, I like to come here and stealth it, but uh, obviously they're already fighting. All right. This calls for the big guns. Wait, there's freedom. Wait, what? what is freedom doing up here? What in the world? Oh my god. I was not expecting that to just go off in my face. Woo, dude, we destroyed them just now. And that one was the last one. Dang, we actually destroyed them. That is the one benefit of having a gun with so many freaking bullets in it. That was legitimately like going Rambo right there. Killed so many of them. Apparently, oh my god, no. Oh wait, that's not, uh, dude, that's a Unisig XO. I thought that was a Nostrog for a second, dude. I was gonna go crazy. What, what are the one are they shooting at? I thought we killed all of them, hello? What are they shooting at? They were shooting out this way, but I, I don't see, oh. There is a guy out here. That is interesting. Oh, wait, there's another guy. And another one. Wait, what in the world? What? Normally, they don't come across the pond. I really should learn to uh, save the game a little bit more often. So, I'm assuming those Unisig guys were the guys that are normally across the river right there. But for some reason, they decided to go ahead and come up. I've never had that happen before, though. I seriously didn't know they could spawn in yet, though. Because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't appear until you talk to the Major again. But apparently not. All right. Once again, I don't even know if I want to pop. Yeah, we're just going to pop it just to be safe. Come on. Where's the gunfire that I heard last time? Come on. What's going on? Is no one shooting this time? Is there no freedom up here this time? Whatever, I'm going in. We're going in, boys. I don't care if there's no one. Oh. Wow, he, he hit me pretty hard. Excuse me, where did my grenade go? Did, did anyone else notice that my grenade didn't explode? Where's my grenade? Okay, I'm, I'm legitimately so confused right now. I threw a grenade and it never exploded. You know, I, I always knew that there were duds in this game. You know, I always knew that there were duds because that's happened several times before. There's no way. 
Ooh, that's the Frasier version. I'm going to grab that because I don't have that. Oh, see, they're fighting people again. So, yeah, I guess they do go ahead and spawn in. Oh, crap. I'm out of ammo. You know what? I'm going to back off real quick so I can reload. Your rank has improved. Nice. Oh. Bro, he doesn't even look like Unisig. I was so confused. Oh, crap. That's one of my guys. Don't you guys love when I accidentally shoot my own dude? All right, we good? We good? Everything good. Yep, we're all good. We're all doing great. Well, no, I hear someone screaming. I'm bleeding out. There he is. Whoa, he had an Effenscar H and an Og Strayer Commando, bro. I'm grabbing both of those. Ah, uh, this poor trainee freedom dude's laying on the ground dead here. I feel bad for him. All right, buddy. Here, I found the captain's PDA. Yep, yep, yep. And goodbye, sir. So now we have to go down and report what happened in Zatanna all the way down south. Yeah, the plan uh, was going to be go down like here. Because, yeah, there is that. There there are two yellows. So, all right. To Jupiter we go. Well, geez, I used a lot of ammo. That's like, what, 200 bullets almost I used? Oh, oh. Uh. What in the world? Yo. Just getting freaking ambushed by Unisig all of a sudden. They truly do hate me. They just pop out of nowhere. And like, what in the world are they doing right here? They're like right here at the freaking uh, mercenary base. I wonder if that duty guy who was attacking me is still over there. Oh, the boar was so powerful it froze my screen. Yep, there we go. What in the world was that sound it just made? Oh, I see it, bloodsucker. Oh, come on, bro. He freaking hit me. And of course, he dealt a little tiny bit of damage to my leg. Because why wouldn't he? All right. In this little bathroom, I think it's on the left here. We have another yellow stash. So let's see. Please tell me. Oh, wow. This is an interesting stash. I don't think I've ever seen four armor pieces in a row and expert tools. Let's go. I forget. Do one of these boys over here need expert tools? Because I swear I gave it to one of them. I don't know if I gave it to the other. Oh, see, he does need expert tools. That's what I'm talking about. First, real quick, I do have this quest to turn on on the outside. Nice. He gave me kerosene. Totally what I wanted. And then this man right here. Job is done. Nice. Expert tools. Good money. And I have a white stash, I think, right here. Yep. Which is funny, because this is where I was storing my uh, artifacts. And I already have the SVDS, so that's cool. All right, I have a search the stash here, and then a mission to turn in over there. And then we can finally go down to Red Forest and see about that yellow stash. And go to Dead City. All right, so this search the stash mission. There's supposed to be a stash somewhere right in here. There it is, right there, and cool. Hercules is always nice. Jeez, we sure have a lot of stuff on us right now. Really running through bushes is not the smartest idea because one of these days I'm going to run straight through a bush and right into an anomaly. Hello, brother. Job is done. Nice. Deliver a package to Rostock. No, buddy. I don't think I will. Someone wants a controller scalp, though. I think I can give them that. Oh, it's the same guy. Here you go. No problem, man. Excuse me, Fedor. Painter. Can you... Can, can, can you move out my way? Oh, great. They're all pushing against me. There we go. Now can... No. Uh, yep. Mm, yep. Hi. Yep. Yep. Let me through. Let me through. There we go. All right. While we're on the way, we might as well kill whoever's down in there, assuming I can see them easily. I see flashlights over there. So, yeah, there's definitely guys right there. And there's also an artifact right there, I think. Oh, someone killed them for me. 
I mean, I'm not going to complain. Just like I'm not about to complain about the grapes that I found. Provides health bonuses on food consumption based on calories. I don't remember ever finding that artifact before in my life. Literally, I don't think I've ever heard of that artifact till now. And then someone in the comments says, what? You've never heard about grapes? It's my favorite artifact. All right. Well, I do wonder who is here now that they killed one of my uh, targets. Take that. Bruh, he backed up. Got him. Oh, that was my target. I, I'm coming in to help. Oh, dude, I'm getting sprayed down. Move, move, move. Jesus. My guy wouldn't move out of the way. Holy crap. I hear the rats attacking him. All right, that should be it. Oh my God, there was an expert freaking renegade here. Why are there expert renegades? What in the world is going on in my game save? Like at this point, I have no idea what to say. Like somehow not only are the renegades literally all over the place in my game save, but they're also just like experts and masters and stuff. Your name is Stalker. I've heard that you help stalkers around. That's so nice of you. <laughs> okay, look, I always forget to name my characters. I know I'm supposed to name them, I never have, and I keep forgetting. I promise you, next playthrough, I will remember to name my character. I promise, I will remember. Now keep in mind, what, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? It, it, it didn't teleport me. Uh, what, what, what? Yo, it's not, it's not letting me go to Red Forest. What's going on? Excuse me? I'd like to go to Red Forest, please. The game is literally just like, no. Yep, all right, well, um, it's not letting me teleport. Therefore, I think I'm just gonna, oh, uh, I can't, oh no. I was hoping I could right click this and teleport. I really don't wanna teleport right here because there's almost certainly gonna be model of like right there. Well, I guess we're just gonna hire a guy to the mining complex. This could not end badly. This, wait, it, wait, it faded, it took my money, faded. What? What's going on? Whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, all I did was save and reload. What's going on? What's going on? So what? I save and reload and now for some reason there's duty? W what in the world just happened? And wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop pushing me. Stop pushing me. There's a freaking legendary, legendary loner here. Yo, why are they pushing me? What is going on? What is going on? Why are they following me? Hello? Save me. Guys. Guys, I'm gonna be honest right now. I have no idea what's going on. I reloaded. They spawned a bunch of guys in my face and now they're like all following me around. I swear to God, I will literally mow you down. Guys, I will mow you down. I will, I will, I will mow. There we go, fine. All right, will the duty guy be in front of me again? Yep, he will. Dude, I love that he just immediately gets a bullet off on me. There you go. And once again, look, they're following me. I, I don't even care. Please push me into the zone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, cool. We good now, right? We good, right? Yep, yep, yep. No one following me around. Cool. Let's go. All right, normally what I do is I just kind of run over here real quick, and I, I, I do see them already, so I'm just going to throw that at them. And that missed completely. Excuse me. Wait, oh my God, there's two parts in it that are really low. I was wondering why it uh, didn't let me shoot. Dude. Also, why is he full reloading? I double tap R, you're supposed to unjam it, right? But was it only just like that one dude? Wait, what? I should, yeah, I have the type D. I should be able to maintain. I, I need to, that's the trigger. And then uh, maintain gas system. And then this one is good for now yeah i'll be real i don't even know what's going on in this game right now Every, ev everything's messed up the world is messed up i forester oh my god i forgot he literally won't let me in i forgot about that i gotta swap outfits real quick and if i do oh no never mind we're not gonna try to get anything from him because if i swap outfits uh i'm gonna be super weighed down oh dang dude there's a freaking master ecologist laying dead here what in the world dude i hate the sound of exosuits turning 
that sound is so annoying but does anyone else agree like hearing that noise of the exosuit turning is just the most annoying thing i think i've ever heard all right let's go get this yellow stash hopefully there won't be a whole lot down here and the fires are on which tells me yeah i just saw that light there's definitely people here it'll be fine i'm just gonna rush in How many bullets does it take? All right, that's all of them. Nope. Oh, dude, he dealt so much damage. Quick, quick, press the button, press the button. Ooh, Jesus. Why is he dealing so much damage? Jesus. Dude, he freaking melted me. Like seriously, I was not expecting to get melted that hard all of a sudden. All right, let's see, was it worth coming over here? No, it's advanced tools and it's not even a new gun. We already have one, that's unfortunate. Yeah, let's see what this guy had on him. Oh, he had a freaking Shack 12, dude. I was like, what in the world does he have? Cause he freaking melted me. Dude, actually went crazy on me. But yeah, dude, I, I don't know if it exists, but honestly, I want a mod that mutes the exosuit noises, like the sounds when you're running and other exosuit sounds, because I just, like, I don't know. They're great to hear the first couple of times, but to me, they just start sounding annoying the longer the playthrough goes on. As I said, it's, it's great originally, because you get it, and it's like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm in this fucking hulking suit, and it makes a lot of noise, and it's nice, but then it kind of, oh, hi. There you go. Ooh, Chimera hide. And I actually don't have that either. That's nice. We actually have a lot of weapons to add to the wheel. So once we get back... Wait. Mission failed. Eliminate beast. Aw. I guess the guy who gave it to me is dead now. Yeah, before we go to Dead City, we really need to drop some stuff off over here at our base at Army Warehouse. And then we can spin the wheel real quick. Wait, where did, where did our exosuit guy go? Huh? Wait. He left my party. Oh, I must have accepted a nighttime mission because that's why it said the beast. But I don't remember accepting that. You think I don't see you right there? You think I don't see you, buddy? I see you. But as long as he doesn't see me, I don't see him. Perfect timing. My dude is now sleepy. I mean, honestly, I don't mind this gun as much as I like. I, I honestly really disliked this gun in the beginning, but I don't mind it. The, the bigger mag is definitely nice. It's just more so annoying when it's like something that's more long range. And since we just rolled on the S SVD, I'm going to keep the SVD. It's mainly going to be spinning for to see what I do with the uh, Shack 12. All right, so all that needs to be added to the list. All right, here we go. I plan to replace one of my guns. And let's see what we're going to get for it. Oh, uh, RD-74U Tactical. Now, that's interesting. So that's really interesting because we actually just got that gun. Yeah, this uh, RD-74U Tactic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with the Shack 12. Honestly, I haven't been using the Shack 12 at all. So I think this is going to be the uh, the new gun to use. Cool. I've already got a scope for it and everything. That's nice. We should almost certainly have the weapon parts to repair it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Yep, I think we literally have everything to bring this up. And boom. Cool, and it's at 30, which means we can go ahead and use this instead of having to waste uh, any of those tight repair kits. Now, I'm actually fine with getting this gun because the thing that I didn't have enough of was the uh, army rifle rounds. Yeah, see, look, I do have a bunch of ammo just sitting in here for it. Nice. Look at that. We have all that ammo saved from last time. Let's go. Does changing this gun to buy 45 up its damage? Because I'd assume it would, which is so weird. I mean, for now, I'm not going to change it, but that's so weird. I will just go ahead and get that because it gives reliability, flatness, that's fire rate. Here, yeah, I'll do that real quick. And then handling and recoil and accuracy. There we go. So I upgraded it quite a lot. It is so unfortunate that the game gives us a, such a nice looking day and yet my dude is tired. Yeah, I could spin for the PKP. I guess that's fine. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I will spin again for the PKP. Let's trade out this PKP for something. Now this better not give me anything annoying, okay? Come on. It would be really funny if it gave me a PKP again. And are, are you kidding me? It lands right back on the Shack 12. Are you actually serious? Oh my God, I shouldn't have spun. Well, that was uh, incredibly smart. Congratulations, Shack 12. You are back in my inventory after literally no time at all. Eliminate Monolith and Red Forest. I'll just grab that for later. Monolith faction patches, I got plenty. Yeah, I could give it to him for now. Yeah, I don't even have that much ammo. I mean, I'll, I'll disassemble it later, but 
There you go. You can have the big boy gun now. As I said, it is so depressing that it gives us such a nice day when my guy needs to sleep. All right, buddy. Take your little nap. We're not going to sleep for long. Let's let him sleep until then. There we go. Six hours of sleep. That's good enough. Oh, come on. I wake up and now it's freaking raining. This game is like actually disgusting, man. Like, come on. It gives me a nice day, but my dude needs to sleep. And now when I wake up, it's freaking raining. All right. Job is done. Thank you for the meat chunk. Actually depressing. Hello, checkpoint brothers. How are y'all doing today? Deliver a package to outskirts, sure, you know, because I got to go there anyway for the main quest, so that's not too big of a deal. Hello, I'm back from Zatan. There, very well. Oh, wow, he actually has a kit for this uh, 74U tactic, but do I buy it? That's the question. 85K? Yeah, I don't know about that, brother. Here, I'm going to save the game real quick, okay? And now I'm going to see. Does it make sense? Uh, I mean, it's cool, and it has a laser sight, but I don't think that's worth 85. Well, as you can see, there's no more quest, but if you want to, you can just go ahead and go to outskirts and it'll immediately uh, give you a new quest. So that's what we're gonna do. But while we're here, he wants a duty faction patch. I can definitely give you that. Cuban cigars. Hey brother, job is done. He gave me a battery. And then this man out here, there you go. Job is done and wait, hey, let's explore as a team. Wait, what's his name? Vadim Mummer. You know what, dude? You're my second friend. Congratulations, Mummer. You're now a part of the squad. In other words, you now have a 99.9% .9 likelihood of getting shot in the back of the head by me. He can head, he, wait, he can take me to Zatan for 8K. That's a lot more than I was hoping. But then again, I could pay the 8K, go to Zatan, and then teleport to out. You know what? That's not a bad idea. All right, brother, you got a deal. I want to leave the city. I'm ready to head to Zatan. More than likely, we're only going to experience a couple mutants on the way. So just go ahead and change into HP. I know, I need to do the, the top. Dude, that, that quest is so bad. The top 10 list mission, like, the, it gives you such bad rewards, considering you had to kill the top 10 stalkers in the zone. Like, literally the most important people in the zone, pretty much, right? And they give you, like, barely anything for it. It's like, bro, come on. I just did, like, this treacherous mission having to kill all these, like, you know, guys. Oh, I thought that was a guy right there. Especially since, in order to do that mission, normally you have to kill some of your allies, right? Like, if I go to statistics real quick, um... Yeah, like, look, number, uh, wait, yeah, number four, see? Number four is, uh, one of my friends, and I gotta kill him, and so, so is number two, Freedom, I gotta kill him, you know? Those, those are literally my allies. All right, where are you? Hi, my friend, what well, job is done? Oh, he wanted the PDA, so that's who that was. And hi, brother, I'm gonna be here real quick so I can buy a little bit of ammo off you. Actually, yeah, just buy the whole thing. I need to come over to him, and I need to buy a thing of ibuprofen. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure I could have just made some. Well, whatever, too late. All right, well, we need to see if there's any quests here, but if not, we're going straight to outskirts. And once again, a Jupiter mission, sure. I'll just grab it anyways. And I accepted another quest that I did not mean to, but sure, you know what? I will give him the lubricant because he's my companion. All right, take me, brother, to outskirts. All right, let's start making our way over to the loner base. Actually, let's go down to the mercenary base first. Once we get somewhat close to the loner base, we should get an updated mission. I just realized I'm not supposed to come to outskirts yet the next part of the missions in jupiter i am so stupid i'm supposed to go to jupiter station talk to them and then we do the raid on the place right and then we go to outskirts oh no you can tell i thought that one through very well i seriously can't believe that i completely forgot about that somehow it doesn't surprise me that i got the uh quest order backwards well at least i came here to turn in this package all right, there you go. Got something for you. Well, that is so unfortunate, and I'm pretty sure... I mean, I've never talked to this guy before, so who knows, but I don't think he can really take me anywhere important, can he? Wait, it says he's an important character, but he won't take me anywhere. Never mind. Normally, when it has that icon, it means that they can take me places. Well, I guess we're going to head over to the loner base real quick. Well, this has been... um weirdly calm running over here normally there's a ton of mutants right here but i'm not seeing anything so unless i turn this corner and there's a chimera no huh all right game i mean i'm not trying to complain or nothing but uh you're not normally this nice woo we are here and the door is just closed in my face apparently i got a quest to turn in for who for you Yep, there we go. Job is done. Nice. Revenge killing. All right, before we leave, any of you guys need anything? The answer is no. All right, let's go. So take me to Jupiter, my friend. All right, so as soon as we're here now, we should be able to immediately talk to him. Yep, can't say I expected you here. What are you doing in Yanov? And yes, I'll do it. There we go. Now we got to quickly deliver something over there. But first, let me run down here so I can turn this quest in. So there you go. Job is done. Thank you for the 8k brother all right now we got to be quick because we can actually fail this delivery because he's about to go and get attacked 
And as you can see, that is the raid party right there. This is when I wish I had a grenade launcher. I wonder. You know, I've got I've got such a I've got such a bad idea. All right, boys, ready? Ready for this? All right, we're putting on this. All right, we're running, we're running, we're running. Watch, watch, watch. I I'm going to run right in front of them. Move, move, move out my way. And we're going to plant proximity. Come on, they got to walk towards it. No, they're walking away from it. Oh, he's going to... Oh, wait. How, wait, how'd that deal damage to me? Wait, it killed them all. My plan worked. Honestly, that was one of the uh, biggest brain plays I think I've ever had. And all it cost was 26% on a Phantom Star. Look at all of them dead. That was worth it. Look, no one can say that that was not worth it. And this is why, to me, the Phantom Star will always be one of the most overpowered things in the game. Like, you saw that. All I did was turn invisible, ran over there, boom. All right, hello, brother. I got a package for you. Have a good trip. And he's gone. But yeah, that right there is why a Phantom Star plus an explosive is so OP. This would have been so annoying. It would have been so annoying to kill all of these guys, especially since, you know, there's not a ton of cover over this way. Normally what I do is I shoot at them from all the way back there and I lead them all the way up here in order to kill them, right? But this time, all I did was plant one down at their feet and kill them. All right, so here's the thing. When I turn in this mission, another timer is going to begin and we're going to have to raid this Unisig base that is over here. But I don't want to do that yet. We'll be doing that in the next episode. Episode. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.